Hi, this is Michael Atman with Iconicist, and today we'll be doing a real-time workflow video communicating 360 product photography of consumer packaged goods. Uh, we're working with our Silver Series Mid Photography Turntable, a 360 acrylic riser, a Canon Rebel Series camera, and the Shutterstream 360 software. So uh, what we're seeing here is a real-time preview of what the camera sees. Obviously, our camera is not shooting in uh, landscape mode, so I'm going to rotate the live view, and we can see that rotates in real time. Um, our next step here will be to optimize our camera settings for our lighting environment. Um, I did set a custom white balance, so I'm using that. That's extremely important. Uh, the next thing that I want to do just to ensure that I can capture enough depth is change my aperture, and I'll use the value of 11 for that. And the, the last thing that I'll do is change my shutter speed just to allow for the correct amount of light to be let inside of the camera. And that looks a little bit overexposed, so maybe what we'll do is go to 1 13th. And that's looking pretty good there. If at any point we want to capture an image, um, we can do a little test shot. I've just pre-cropped the frame, and I'm going to hit Snap. And we can see there, and we can inspect this one-to-one -one and see that we've done a pretty good job with uh, focus. Um, actually, one thing I should mention regarding focus is we do have a manual focal point control. And although that looked like it was in focus, we're slightly out. So what I can do is just make uh, changes to our focal point through these clicks here. Um, I don't know if you saw that change, but just watch just on the text here. And I'll drive the lens one stop to the right. And we can see that brings it into perfect focus. So it's going to use that focal point that we set for the entire set of images over the 360 product shoot. Let me just delete that uh, previous image, and we're going to enter into the 360 shooting mode here. And now it's in this mode where we're going to define our shooting settings. Um, obviously, we'll you know define our turntable that we're working with, the Iconis' turntable model. Um, next thing that's pretty important here is select the number of frames that you want to shoot. Um, probably what I'll do is shoot uh, 48 frames. Uh, users will have the ability to shoot from as little as two frames. That's one capture every 180 degrees up to over 10,000 frames. Um, again, for e-commerce, usually between 48 and 72 is pretty good. Um, the next thing that we can do is we'll want to do a pre-rotation. We want to ensure that we've positioned our object in the center of the turntable. So I'm going to hit this play button here. And as my object rotates, what I want to do is just adjust my crop marker just to ensure that as my object rotates, it doesn't fall outside the crop marker. The other thing that I'm doing is just trying to visually ensure that my object is spinning on axis in the center of the turntable. Uh, now, the last thing here, I did over rotate the turntable just a bit. So I'm going to move it five degrees counterclockwise just to get it to that optimal first setting. You can enter any value in this area right here and then hit the one arrow button and that's going to nudge the turntable X degrees. So we're going to want to shoot this in. Uh, let's just go with counterclockwise here. And again, we've defined all our settings. So now what we want to do is simply hit the start button and that will automate the 360 capture sequence. All right, so we've just completed our image capture. Again, 48 total frames. We can go ahead and inspect individual images if need be. Um, probably my next step would be going to edit these images to get them on pure white backgrounds. All right, so that's imported the set of 48 images into the editing area. Um, one thing we can look up here, um, we're going to choose the eyedropper tool. Well, specifically, let's choose the white point tool. And what we can do, if you watch the RGB color value, you can see that as I move my mouse around, it's going to tell me whatever color value is highlighted under the mouse cursor. And a pure white background is 255, 255, 255. Looks like we're a little bit off pure white. So what I can do is either A, select a white point. And as we can see in real time, that makes that adjustment and or manually enter a value inside of our levels tool. So maybe I'll choose the value of 240. And that takes that uh, slightly off-white background to pure white. And maybe I can just add a little bit of contrast here. 
that looks pretty good i'm just going to also adjust my sharpness on this just increasing my sharpness just a tad and when i'm ready um, i'm going to hit apply to all and again in a batch process that will make those changes All right, so we've just completed the batch editing. Now what I want to do is output these images. I will call this a file name, maybe it's a SKU number. You can use a barcode scanner if need be. We're going to choose our output folder location. What we can also do is choose the battery size. Maybe for my website, I want all these images at, let's say, 1,800 pixels tall. Um, we can see that the images was shot up here, if you look at the width and the height, at 1630 by 221. I had my camera shooting JPEG medium format. Um, if we want to shoot a large image format, that image would be much higher resolution, but a little bit overkill for my requirements, hence why I set it the JPEG medium format. So now that I'm ready to output, I will just hit OK. And now what I'll do is go ahead and open up the 360 view creator application as well as the folder location where I'd output my 48 frames. I'm going to batch select all these and simply drag and drop. That's going to auto compose the individual frames into an interactive 360 product view as we can see right here. Click and drag left and right. We also do have obviously the zoom functionality in which we could actually go and read the individual uh, kind of information on the label if required. So high quality 360 product view shot on a white background very fast and efficiently. As far as the 360 view output, these uh, we do have multiple different output types, HTML5, animated GIF, interactive MP4 and MP4 video. You can choose one, you can choose them all in batch output that way. Uh, the next thing you can output locally and or upload directly to the Iconosys 360 stream server. Um, these are fully customizable as far as the different button types, the player style, the button locations. You can even add hotspots if required. Um, again, I won't dive into that stuff too much. I'll just rename this file. Let's we'll call this weed feed. Hit save and that will output the file locally where I can go ahead and then go and upload it directly onto my website. 